Chapter 6, Punishment Always Comes When You Forge T. When Yan Mo peeled off a large voles in a less skilled way, the sky was near lost interest the sky it had gone in the evening, and the sunset glowed in the sky to the west. Many people have already made dinner or are making it, and a strong barbecue flavor drilled into Yan Mo's nose. He swallowed a few mouthfuls of saliva in a row. The grassy hut, which is sitting diligently next door and foot away has baked the meat and the slave called the owner out to eat. At the same time, he came over to help Yan Mo handle another mouse. Have you been hungry for a long time? I don't think you have any strength. Cao Ting screwed the neck of the large voles, and used a stone knife to draw a circle around the bleeding hole, cutting off the muscles connected by the flesh, etc. Pulling the leather down to the next. The whole mouse skin was so torn off in matters of few minutes. The manpower here seems to be not small. Yan Mo looked at his own hands. Is he because he is tired because he is hungry? Ninety percent is. Yan Mo was embarrassed to let Cao Ting help him to do all the things, he picked up the stone knife to start the laparotomy of the skinned voles, this is the cost of his studying previous life, and he changed this new body, although there is a strange feeling, but the basic skills are there. The first mouse he was slow to handle the internal organs, and he was much skilled when he got to the second. When Cao Ting discovered him, he had already evenly distributed a mouse to the corpse. It doesn't have to cut in small pieces, so the small prairie rat is the most convenient to roast. Yan Mo stopped his hand. He is habitually planning to cut the meat into pieces and intends to braise or stir-fry, but he forgot they do not braised and fried here. None of the concepts. Cao Ting helped to cut another complete prairie mouse smeared coarse salt and placed it on the fire pit. The mashed can only be used for cooking. The next time you remember, the meat is best if it's not cooked, our salt turns bitter when put in the water, and there will be no bitterness from the salt when it is roasted with fire. Cao Ting sighed. Yan Mo can't cook. The disciples of the priest may not need to cook for himself. Salt will be bitter because it contains other minerals. It will be much better if it is boiled and filtered several times. Yan Mo pointed out. Cao Ting looked at him strangely. How many times do you have to cook it? How much waste it is? Do you know how valuable salt, water, and burning grass are? Was the Salt Mountain tribe so wasteful? Yuan Zhan is good master, so you are free to use it. There is salt, water, or burning grass. If you change to other masters, you will be hungry for a few times if you waste something. The Yuan people here don't know how to get better salt, but are not willing. No wonder he taught the knowledge, but the Banish Guide didn't respond. Also, even in the 21st century, the people in many poor places in China still live an extremely primitive life. They do not know how to live better, but only suffer from no knowledge conditions. Yan Mo face is thick and doesn't blush. If the guideline on geography and hydrology can be used now, this climate and environment he may find natural salt ponds and salt lakes nearby. The temperature here is so high, the sun is so strong during the day, and even if the cooking of salt is not complete, it is possible to carry out the salt salting method, and the method of drying the salt itself by the sun is much more environmentally friendly and economical than the method of boiling salt. If it can be thought of before, the scum value will drop to 100 million. Yan Mo wanted to make the hamsters that were cut into pieces, but found that there was no suitable things and he could only give up. Yuan Zhan came back with a full water tank and watched Yan Mo planning to cook the meat, he put down the water tank and kicked him. The meat is not allowed to be cooked in the future and do use so much water for yourself. Cao Ting wanted to say a word. But she could not dare to say more, she bowed down and left. Yan Mo endured the humiliation silently. He had to completely change his mind. In such a ghost place where nothing is missing, instead of trying to make his life better, it's better if he thinks about how to live longer. Yuan Zhan ate one and a half of prairie rat meat and left half a pot of boiled meat to Yan Mo. Yan Mo felt that Yuan Zhan might not have enough to eat, 
and that half of the pot of meat gave him no appetite. Yan Mo almost used the flutter. Once he got the consent from Yuan Zhang, he immediately climbed to the side of the stone pot and reached out to fish the meat that had cooled off. He was hungry, even if he cooked white meat with salt water and it had a bitter taste, he ate the same meat as he had never seen, and even the broth soup in the stone bowl was held up and dried. It was dark, and Yuan Zhang carefully covered the fire pit. Yan Mo licked his fingers and asked, Do you have to keep the fire? There is a fire pit in the family. There are slaves watching it. After that, you remember to go up to the fire pit every morning to get the fire and start a fire. When you sleep, you will extinguish the fire. Why do not they leave the fire? How can we let it stay? Do you think we have firewood to burn all night? You and Jean Gaze meant to say use your brain is not broken contempt eyes to Yan Mo. Yan Mo shut up again. He remembered that when he was a child, his grandparents burned the stove. In the evening, they used the mixed carbon to cover the fire in the furnace. They only took out a small fire eye and let the coal inside burn incompletely. The fire can be kept until the next morning. But this method is obviously not suitable for this, and he is not proficient in this, and he has to study again. It seems that it is much more difficult to reduce the scum value here than he imagined. Yan Mo was trying to erect the middle finger again to God, and Yuan Zhan pulled his arm and dragged him directly into the tent. Dropping Yan Mo's arm, Yuan Zhan pointed to the corner of the pile of garbage. You will sleep here later, those furs will be used by you. There is no fire in the tent, it all dark and lacquered, and Yan Mo eyes adapted after a long time. He saw something faintly. Yuan Zhan turned around and took a torch into it inserting it into the ground at the stone table at the center of the tent. Yan Mo clearly saw some small bugs on the ground quickly disperse to the four sides, and then looked at the dark corner. Will he sleep with the insects in the future? Yuan Zhan put down the curtain of the tent, covered it, pressed the corner with the stone, turned and looked at Yan Mo's injured leg. Stabilizing the broken leg with a wooden stick so that the broken bone would be displaced? This method is good. I have not seen us using it. The priest used it once. Were you taught by the priest of the Salt Mountain tribe? Yan Mo nodded and reached for a rotten fur. He swears that when he pull up the fur, there are definitely no less than five worms from the fur. Fall out and climb around. Yuan Zhan walked to his bed and untied the leather skirt and threw it on the stone table. He sat on the bed so slyly. Yan Mo saw a big flapping thing in the shadow, silent. Are the people here so well developed? What is your name? Yan Mo. How old? Fourteen. You're three years younger than me, but not even a first rank warrior, you are useless. Yuan Zhang patted his belly and spared no effort fighting against his own slaves, I was a first rank warrior by the age of twelve and I was promoted to the second rank at the age of fifteen. If I get more training and fighting, I will soon become a third-rank warrior. By then, I will be able to own two slaves, the second slave I will definitely pick a health one and I must find a beautiful and good-looking one. Yan Mo's expression was a bit cracked. Was this guy who claimed to be his master turned out to be a minor? The original man was precocious and he thought that this kid had already been twenty from all that growling talk. However, from his memory, the people here are precocious. The age of thirteen or fourteen is already the age at which a man can start a family. Many people will even marry and have children at this age. For modern people, the man is still a child. However, for the locals, he is already an adult, so at the age of seventeen, he is truly a full-fledged labor force. Duren, if that's the case, why didn't you accept a female slave from the beginning? Just like Duren next door. Yan Mo nearly screamed his master. Then he endured the severe pain in his legs, he pulled out a piece of rotten fur, shook it and laid it on the ground. Yan Mo didn't expect Yuan Zhan to answer him. He didn't expect Yuan Zhan to answer him this way. The female slave is expensive, and if there is a female slave, there will be children. 
I am afraid that I can't stay with children. After a while, Yuan Zhan muttered, I don't want to eat my own children, and I don't want to give my children to others so they can be eaten. Yan Mo's hand stopped, this tribe when it comes to the winter, the living environment would be so harsh. Not only they will eat slaves, but also they will eat their own children who are living in the tribe. This kind of situation is completely absent from the Salt Mountain people. Although the Salt Mountain people also have the custom of eating people, because the place was rich in salt mines, winter times were not too difficult. In the memory belonging to the 14 years of the boy, the Salt Mountain people have not eaten a person. Probably because of this, his people would rather abandon him and not treat him as food. But if I rise to a third rank warrior, I can support my child. Yuan Zhan laid down and his voice turned cold, it's my turn to go hunting tomorrow, the shortest hunting party is five days, the longest is ten days, there is not much food in the house. I will talk to Yuan Diao, to let Cao Ting take care of you, you better eat less, and when I come back, I will return your ration to Yuan Diao. When I am not here, you should not run around, I have not stabbed my mark on your body if you are caught wandering. It's gonna be trouble. Yes, Yuan Duren. Not long after, Yuan Zhan let out a slight snoring, his physical exertion during the day fell asleep at night. Yan Mo patted off the light on the fire, barely spread out the fur bed, and struggled to support himself with his arms, and moved his body to the bed with a few pieces of broken fur. Although these shredded furs have a terrible smell, it is not comfortable to poke the skin but it is better than sleeping on the cold ground. There are a lot of broken fur, but they're not big, and the stacking time takes a long time, the mold is a lot worse, and Yan Mo has been looking for a long time to find a piece that barely covers the stomach. Lying on the bed, Yan Mo took a long breath and finally got a good night's sleep. Once quiet, the surrounding sounds are magnified, but a layer of fur tents can't stop the sound. There is no entertainment at night, what does every family do after dinner? Yan Mo listened to the original movements without any cover, and slowly closed his eyes. The physical and psychological double fatigue made Yan Mo quickly forget the harsh environment and quickly fall asleep. Even if he was hurt in his dreams, he was not willing to wake up. As the night darkens, the temperature also dropped a little. The climate here is really similar to that of the desert. It is hot to death during the day and cold to death at night. In addition to the injured leg that can't be moved around Yan Mo curled up in a cold tent, held his hands tightly against himself, resisting cold and pain. Suddenly. Ah! Yan Mo suddenly screamed, and the whole person was awed by the pain. Yuan Zhan, who was asleep, was awakened, cursed and opened his eyes, got up and walked to Yan Mo, knelt down, grabbed his hair, and said, What is it? Yan Mo had hurt his injured leg. The head is full of sweat. He even forgot the punishment that the guide said, that damn the pain of fire. Just now, in his sleep, he dreamed that the old priest was holding a burning wooden stick and branding his injured leg. The dream was fake, but the pain of fire was true. Yuan Zhan looked at him like that, frowning and asked, Why? is the wound hurting. Yan Mo's consciousness was a little sham, he spoke no answer. Trouble. Yuan Zhan dropped him, removed the stone that pressed the curtain, walked out of the tent, took a scoop of water back, lifted his head, and sent a scoop to his mouth, drink. Yan Mo was sweating. And Yan Mo was indeed thirst to the extreme, with Yuan Zhan's hand, holding a scoop he was breathing and drinking. Continue to sleep, no more screaming, or I will tie your mouth. Yuan Zhan packed up and pulled a piece of sturdy intact fur hanging on the wall and threw it on Yan Mo. He said nothing. Went back and laid down and continued to sleep. Yan Mo slowly reached out and hugged the fur that covered his entire body, covering himself tightly. The pain of broken bones, coupled with the pain left by the pain of burning dream, Yan Mo slept very late in the middle of the night, he did not even know that he made a low snoring sounds. The young and powerful Yuan Zhan was paralyzed by the snoring from his own slaves. After swearing a bunch of words, 
he turned his body and started to be self-reliant. In the morning, Yan Mo woke up and smelled the special smell that had not been vented out in the tent. The mouth was soured, seventeen years old. Isn't that just the age of a tree hole? 